Did you know that the SECURE Act 2.0 just made progress in the House, the Securing a Strong Retirement Act of 2022? It moved forward last year out of the Ways and Means Committee on May 5th of 2021, and then just got a 414 to 5 vote on March 29th, 2022 to move to the Senate. This has about 50 different retirement provisions in it. However, today, I want to really focus on what I see as the top 10 most impactful provisions inside of this bill. Number one, let's start with required minimum distributions, moving back to age 75. This just changed with the SECURE Act, but this would phase in over time, meaning that we would see ages 73, 74, and then a decade later, age 75 as the required beginning date. Uh, number two, mandatory automatic enrollment and escalation in certain retirement plans. Again, uh, for existing plans, they would be grandfathered out of these provisions, so they wouldn't have to comply, but moving forward, new plans would. Number three, employer matches for individuals, participants of plans that are paying down student loans. So allow you to pay down student loans and the employer to put money into your 401k. Number four, increase the catch-up contributions up to $10,000. Um, but this is only for ages 62, 63, 64. It would also increase the simple uh, IRA's catch-up contribution to $5,000. Number five, we would index catch-up contributions for inflation. Now, right, contributions retirement plans typically index for inflation, and this would also index the $1,000 catch-up contribution for IRAs. Number six, small retirement account sign-up features bonuses, so like a gift card for signing up for your 401k. Number seven, removing the 25% cap on uh, the amount of money you could put into QLAX as part of your IRA, so allowing more money to go into qualified longevity annuity contracts. Number eight, starting in 2023, all catch-up contributions are Roth contributions. Number nine, employers could match now in Roth dollars, not just tax deferred. Number 10, allowing simple and step IRAs to take on Roth money. And remember, this still has to go through the Senate, so stay tuned.